It was noon and I ain't even started a video today, so we'll start one now, I guess. Been a busy day. Got uh, got a few steers delivered, so they're out of here. A little money in to pay some bills. See how far that goes. Not far enough, I know. You know still kind of deciding what to do here. Well, actually I know what to do there. Lift the thing off. It's more what to do over here. So, looking at what I got outside, they don't have anything really in the shop. Um, I think I'm just going to take some channel. Three inch channel. I got it. Figure where I got to put them on here. Weld them on the frame on here. Put a couple gussets to the frame. Weld a plate on top. And just bolt to it. Because... Hey, you can see it on the camera. There's where the front bolts are. Doesn't have to be supported all the way down. It's sitting on a wood block the way it is. So, you know, it's not touching the frame for about five feet. So that's, I think that's going to be the answer, I guess. And I'm just still scratching my head on making sure that seven inches is going to be high enough before I cut pieces and figure where to put them and do that. Thought about just taking that off of there and putting some wood blocks under it and get it up where I think it ought to be. And right now I really wish I had one of the proper tires on the back so I don't have to keep scratching my head and thinking about it. Every time I scratch my head and think about it, I'm thinking, well, that's not right, but it is right. So, And I want to try to keep the space we got here on these tires on the new ones so it's got to be a wee bit higher those are like 39 inch tall tires something like that and the other ones are 45 44 45 right in there and go from there and of course that's still got to come off but it's ready the only thing got to pull is there's bent over nails holding that hose right there that's not a big deal she's over there working on getting that hydraulic block off of there still got to figure you know if i'm going to still use that or something else so anyway give her a hand and scratch my butt and go from there the blank it fell off had a little trouble getting the front couple bolts out. Back one's pulled right out. Front one's, this side was stuck. But, hey, you know, big oversized holes. And when we used to use this for a fertilizer buggy and a sprayer years ago, we switched it around all the time, so we were always taking them out. They haven't been out for a long time. Probably 25 years. I guess, somewhere in there. So, there's a bare chassis. Not too much left to strip off it before we just start cutting. So, yeah, get that off in one piece. Yeah, fuel tank, we, I think we're probably going to end up using it. I don't know, we'll see. I don't know anything better at the moment, unless I put a big saddle tank on it, and I don't want to do that. That oil tank and the seat... Don't know what we use the seat for at the moment, but we'll save it. And of course, our valves up there. And unfortunately, the levers on that main valve block are part of the plate that the valves are mounted to. So I gotta cut it out underneath to get it all off. No biggie. I was gonna get to that, but today just hasn't hadn't been one of those days to get a lot done. A little bit, but not a lot. So. Get done when I get done. That's how it goes. Maybe tomorrow we'll have a little more progress. I had a pair of gloves somewhere. I don't know what I did with them. I'm always losing my phalange covers. Hey, I found them. If I leave them there, I'll forget where they're at. So I'll 
Usually, usually I keep them on a welder or put them on a vise. Then when I walk in the shop, I have them. So, today wasn't too bad of a day for weather. It's getting a little darker now, but because it's getting dark out. Oh, and I just remembered we're low on feeding that bin, and Mom says she's getting low on feeding the back barn, so we're not going to take it out of that, though. we got a full tote bag. There it is. Maybe I can do some measuring and stuff with it, not on the chassis, because I can get to it to measure. I slipped a sling underneath it so I couldn't, in between, so it didn't screw up the plumbing. A couple chains and lift her up, set her down. Now, if I can just snap my fingers, now both those things mounted on that other chassis and, and maybe have engine and transmission and a cab, all that stuff, that'd be cool. But, oh well. I'm gonna feed some grain, shut some critters up in here, and call it a night.